This is part 93 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to keep draggable element always on top of other draggable elements on the page. Let's understand this with an example. Here, we've got four div elements and we applied this style class to each of those div elements. As a result, those div elements will be rendered like this. Within our jQuery ready function, we're finding those div elements and calling the jQuery UI draggable function. As a result, these div elements will now be draggable. I have this exact same code already typed and when we view this page in the browser, this is how those div elements are rendered. And notice I can drag these div elements and red div is the first element to be rendered. As a result, look at this, this always stays below the other draggable div elements. And this brown div is the last element and when we drag this, notice it stays always on top of the other draggable div elements. But if you look at this green div, this stays on top of red div, but below the blue and brown div. That's the default behavior. Now what we want to do is, any element that we are dragging, we want that element to be on top of all the other draggable div elements on this page. To achieve that, we use the stack option of this draggable widget. So basically, we are saying here, we want to stack this on top of any div element that has this class applied, div class. So that's a selector. So let's save our changes, reload this page. And now notice, when I drag red div, it stays on top of all the other div elements. If we start to drag blue div, now it is on top of all the other draggable div elements. Similarly, green div now is on top of all the other draggable div elements. So how is jQuery doing this? Behind the scenes, what jQuery is doing is changing the Z index value of the element that we are dragging. So basically it is setting that Z index to a value greater than the Z index of any other elements on this page. As a result, that comes on top of all the other elements. Okay, we can actually see that using browser developer tools. So let us reload this page and let's launch browser developer tools. And let's start to move this red div. And let's actually say, let's click on this magnifying glass. So I'm dragging this red div and look at the Z index of that red div. At the moment it is five and let's start to drag this green div and look at the Z index of that green div. It is five greater than four and greater than the Z index of any other div elements on that page. So blue div Z index is two, brown div it is three. Now let's go ahead and drag blue div and look at the Z index of blue div now. It is six greater than any other draggable div element on this page. So that's how it is doing. But we have a problem here. The problem is, you know, only when we start to drag the element, that's when, you know, it, it appears on top. But if I simply click on that green div without dragging, look at that, it does not come on top. I'm actually clicking now. Similarly, when I click on blue div, it doesn't come on top. Now let's say as soon as I mouse down, you know, I want that blue div to immediately come up. So whatever div on which the mouse down event is triggered, we want that element to be on top of all the other draggable div elements on this page. So let's see how to achieve that. So we don't have any option for that. We have to write our custom code. First of all, since we are going to write our custom code, we don't need this stack option anymore. So I'm going to find, first of all, we need to associate that mouse down event with these div elements that has the style class applied. So let's find all those div elements using the class selector and I'm going to wire up mouse down event handler. And within this event handler, I'm going to create a variable which is going to keep track of maximum Z index value. And let's initialize that to zero. Now, dollar this. So this refers to the element that has received mouse down event. And I'm going to find all the siblings of that development. The development on which we triggered the mouse down event. We want to find the siblings of all those 
um, siblings of that development. And I don't want to find all siblings. I want to find those siblings which have this class, div class. And I'm going to loop through each of them using jQuery each function. And inside this each function, I'm going to create a variable. Let's call it current z index. So we are going to retrieve the z index of each of the development that we are looping through. And to get that, I'm going to use this keyword here. So we are writing this within the context of this each function. So we will be looping through each development. And I'm going to use the CSS function and ask for z index value. And let's convert that to a number using the number function. And max z index equal to, I'm going to check if current z index value is greater than max z index. If that is true, then within this max z index variable, we want to store the value that is present in current z index, else retain what we have got in max z index. So by the time this loop finishes, it's going to get the maximum z index value. Next, what we are going to do outside of this each function, we are going to use this keyword. So outside of that each function, this keyword refers to the element which has received mouse down event, right? So that's the event that uh, that's the element that we want to drag. So on that, I'm going to call the CSS function and set z index. And I'm going to set it to this max z index plus 1. OK? That's it. So let's save our changes, reload this page, and look at that in action. Look at this. Let's stack these on top of each other. Now, when I simply mouse down on red dev, look at this, I didn't drag on that, but it is on top of all the other developments. Similarly, I simply click on blue div, mouse down, you know, it's on top of all the other draggable div elements. So here is the stack option we have used, and here is that custom code which is going to bring the development on top just on mouse down event. Thank you for listening and have a great day.